Welcome to Electron Line. Piggybacking on the previous video, we're now going to determine why when we combine propene, also called propylene, with hydrogen bromide, why do we get one molecule more common than the other molecule? Matter of fact, one of them is almost always the result of the reaction. The other one is virtually never seen. Why is that? Which of these two is a more stable result of a combination or reaction of these two molecules? Well, it turns out that this one is the more stable one. The question again would be why? And we can explain it using what we call the Markovnikov's rule. Markov, Markov, <laughs> Markovnikov determined that the more stable molecules, again, are the molecules that have more CH3s attached to them versus less CH3s. So in this case, this molecule here only has one CH3. Here we have two CH3s, and his rule claims that this is therefore the more stable molecule. Well, that's the rule, but it doesn't necessarily explain why that is so. It turns out that bromine is very electronegative, so it's more likely to attract more electrons. So in the, the bond between the carbon and the bromide, the electrons tend to be pulled more towards the bromide, and therefore, this tends to be a little bit more negatively charged. On the other hand, hydrogens, they're more readily to donate their, their extra electron, so therefore these become a little bit more positively charged. And you can see that when you place a negatively charged ion in between two positive charges, you can see that that's a more stable situation. There's more of a force of attraction there. On the other hand, when you look over here, here the two hydrogens are closer together, and if these are both positive, they tend to repel each other. However, still, this one will be attracted to bromine. But this situation here causes more of a repulsive force to exist, and therefore a less stable situation. That actually plays in hand with Kur Markovnikov's rule, in that it's satisfied by having more hydrogens around a single carbon. A situation where you have the maximum number of cases where you have as many hydrogens as possible around the carbon, you'll have a more stable molecule. And this is, you can see, why that is so.